Hulu loves fans of TV, so they found Dot and Bree. With their friends, they talk TV, so you know what to stream. Everyone and welcome our guest Tiffany Pollard. Oh my goodness! <laughs> hey girls, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. We're so excited to have you here. Your place is too cute, and today's goal is we definitely gonna keep it real. Yes. So oh, I'm in the right yes. place. I am so excited to talk reality TV with literal reality TV royalty. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Tiffany, I mean, you're the perfect person to talk about reality TV because you've lived it before. Would you mind giving us a little behind the scenes of what that whole process is like? Well, Brie, I have to tell you and Dot the T on reality television because I started the genre as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Just, you know, oh girl, stop. My head gonna get bigger than it already <laughs> is. <laughs> but back in the day, 2005, when things were just heating up, and to be on reality television, how it was back then, yeah. it's a big difference. The fighting was real. There was no coaching. Like, literally, you just had to, like, live in that space and figure it out. When you're watching these reality shows, now, do you, are there specific things you can think of that you yourself go, oh, that was planned, or oh, I can see that was coached? I feel like a lot of the interviews, if you will, I can... I can see, like, mm, they told her to say that, or they're leading us down this road. I mean, which is totally fine, because reality television has become such a big business that you have to kind of fine-tune things. You might not have, you know, that negative space when you were figuring it out back in the day. Now it's more like a machine, which is fine, because there's evolution to everything that's going to be successful. Sure. But I'm like, I had to think of these things to say. <laughs> they're just feeding her. And it's so not fair, but, you know, you just roll with it. And Absolutely. the viewer also suspends disbelief just for the sake of the story because uh -huh. it is reality TV. But I feel like there's also a, like a like a storyline that the viewer yes. wants to see and that the producers push, you know, so just That's to get those so ratings. true, Dot. And when I'm in the comments, I always see people go, they making this up. I miss back in the day when Flavor of Love was popping because that was real reality television. Like, I think they saw us struggling and trying to figure it out on the spot. So I want to hear more about your favorite shows, your, your favorite moments on, on, you know, your shows. Well, you know what? I have to say, like, doing those reality shows like The Flavor of Love and mm -hmm. I Love New York, those were some of my first times at 23 years old to leave the country, Whoa, like going to wow. Belize, going to Mexico, all these beautiful places and seeing these exotic islands and stuff. And guess what, y'all? I didn't have a passport, so they rented a private jet <gasps> so we could go like out of the country. I'm like, y'all gonna do this for me? They're like, yeah, bitch, we can't go out of the country and leave New York behind. <laughs> you cannot leave New York behind. So stuff like that. And of course, the infamous spit scene. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to talk about that everywhere mm -hmm. I go. Please. Y'all, that bitch <laughs> spit on me. <laughs> It was not mocked. It was not staged. It was like real chug spit in the back of the throat. Oh. She had cavities, all that good stuff. Oh, God. Like, it was just very obvious. So it was like acidic spit. <laughs> yeah. Girl. Oh. I love that after all these years, you're like, I still hate that bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm a finder. <laughs> I'm a finder. What, was go what, what went through your mind in that moment when, like, what... How do you, how do you, what, what do you think about when that kind of stuff happens? Yeah, because I feel like you really held it together because had it, ooh. Yeah. Bring Bad respect. Dot, I'm going to tell y'all like this. I went blank. First of all, I was suspended in air. I did not <laughs> realize that this was really happening. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm on television, so this shit can't be real, right? <laughs> Is the joke on me? Right. Like, it did not feel... Real. So to figure out that it was a real situation and this is happening, I just, I felt like that was the realest moment that I've ever had on reality television because I did not see it coming. That was the one thing that just, I just didn't know that shit was going to occur. It's Wait, iconic. so how about some of the moments? Like, I remember the moment where you came into the room, right, during breakfast, and you were like, good morning, good morning. Yes. And you're like, yes. was that pre-planned or you just, had, you just wanted to stir things up? If you had to live with 19 backstabbing bitches, 
you would pick out and do the same exact thing. <laughs> them girls deserved it. Oh, my gosh, they were so mean to me. I was on my own the majority of the time that I wasn't with Flav. Like, no one was telling you, oh, go out there and, and say good morning, good morning, not you. That was all you. Girl, yes. One thing I know how to do is stir the pot. Can't you tell? Look at my hip. I <laughs> love it. And this is why you are the infamous <laughs> HBI But it's hard being me, y'all. I want to be friendly and colorful and nice like y'all. We you love you, though. For I, mean, I, I feel like, oh, Don't my gosh, change. you are the I most lovable like person. This? Yes. We OK. It's clearly working. Okay. And America loves you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like watching yourself on TV? Do the, you watch do, yourself? I don't watch myself on TV. Really? Because mm. I lived it. I don't like to second guess my responses to stuff. I just feel like I'll ruin the sauce. Y'all don't want too much garlic in the sauce, right? I don't want to ruin the sauce. It makes me think about a family who's just so constantly in the spotlight all the time. I wonder if they watch themselves or if they can't even avoid it. I mean, mm -hmm. the Kardashians. Yes. Oh, they're... they watch it. Mm -hmm. They post on the internet all the time that they're watching their episodes. Right. They're often yes. watching them as they come out with us. But and being I'm sure... such an iconic family, I feel like they have to keep up with the Kardashians. You're right. Like, You're right. I just love what they're doing with the genre of reality television. And they're here at home at Hulu now. Mm -hmm. You know, they're showing different viewpoints. Like, Courtney was not at all, really. I mean, this last season, was she was literally the focus of the entire season. So and it was so nice mm -hmm. to see that side yep. of her. It was cool to see her enjoy it. I feel like she's enjoying it a little bit more yeah. now, too, you know? And maybe it's because she found real love, finally. Absolutely. Like, she's just so lit up now. It My is. favorite part was those two episodes where they were leading up to like when Travis proposed to her. Oh like, my oh gosh. my gosh, it was so sweet. He got the entire family involved. Like yes. she didn't know it was gonna happen. He like yes. so decorated the entire yeah. beach with roses and they had that moment <laughs> together and the family watched from from afar. That was one of my favorite moments last season. Well, you know them Kardashians all got magic in the trunk. Yes. So they get it from Chris. That's how she do it all. It's the magic in the trunk. She's really amazing, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I find that show so addictive. Yes. But I yeah. I have to say that one of the shows that I cannot stop watching is RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh my god. And you were a judge in one of the seasons, I was. right? It was the most fun I've ever had in my life. Like when I say those queens leave their heart on that stage, I was just there salivating with my eyes wide the whole time. <laughs> I mean, this is like Beyonce, Elton John, the Beatles, yeah. Elvis. You could bring them all back from the dead <laughs> and RuPaul's Drag Race is still gonna be better. Like, they're really, really great performers. Oh my gosh, and you feel that as a viewer? I can't even imagine the energy that's like there on the stage <laughs> yeah. right in front of you. It's like they're, they're lip syncing for their lives, literally. Yes. And y'all wouldn't believe how many times they actually can run the number and make it look like the first time. I love that show because it's such a comfort to me. Like, every season, there's always my favorite queen. I'm always yes. following her journey. I'm always so upset if she gets eliminated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, y'all rubbing off on me. I can get like this. Oh, well. <laughs>